please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. In Python 3, you can use the multiprocessing module to run two processes concurrently and retrieve the result from the one that finishes first. This can be useful for situations where you want to take advantage of multiple CPU cores or perform parallel processing. We'll create a simple example where two processes perform a task, and we want to return the result from the process that completes first while stopping the other process. To achieve this, we'll use the process class from the multiprocessing module. Before you begin, make sure you have Python 3.x installed on your system. You can check your Python version by running. If you don't have Python 3 installed, Download it from the official website, https colon slash slash www.python.org slash downloads, and follow the installation instructions. Let's create a Python script that demonstrates running two processes and returning the result from the first to finish. In this code, save the code to a.py file example concurrent underscore processing dot py and run it using the following command you should see the result from the first process to finish and confirmation that the second process was terminated early in this tutorial we will explore how to start two processes in python 3 retrieve the result from the process that finishes first and stop the other process early this can be useful when you have two parallel tasks and want to optimize your code's efficiency by using the result from the first process to proceed or terminate the other process. We'll use the multiprocessing module to create and manage the parallel processes. Before starting, make sure you have Python 3 installed on your system. You can download Python from the official website, Python Downloads. Import the required modules. To begin, you need to import the necessary modules, multiprocessing for managing processes and time for simulating tasks. Define functions for parallel execution. Create two functions that represent the tasks you want to run in parallel. In this example, we'll define two functions that sleep for a certain period to simulate long-running tasks. Three. 